name is Joey Accardo. I'm the technical manager for our EpiRock surface and exploration drills in the U.S. In this segment, we're going to cover retracting the drill string from the ground after we've drilled to our target depth. So I've already drilled to the target depth, rattled the drill string loose by using impact pressure. That's this slider on the drilling joystick on the right hand stick. After doing that, I'm going to make sure that my retract stops are set, which is done with the middle drill joystick button on the drilling stick. That will happen automatically when target depth is reached or can be done manually and cycled between in and out. I'm going to set it to drill out stops and I'm now going to feed backwards. When I do that, the drill will lift up to the M4 position for me. At that point, I can bring out my rod gripper arms, hard clamp by holding the rod gripper joystick straight backwards, and then thread in to retighten the joint that became loosened during the rattling process. Once that's done, I can close the upper centralizer, open up the rod grippers using the open button, hold them open and begin on threading. As I let go, the drill will switch to soft grip, which will guide the steel up through the arms. Once that's done, I can use the unthreading position to unthread, and then I can transfer the rod back to the carousel. At this point, I rapid feed forward, and as I approach the coupling that's in the centralizers, the rock drill will slow down, and I can then thread in. Once I thread it in and tighten the joint, I can open the centralizers, and I can retract the drill strength until I see the bit or the next rod when I can repeat the cycle. And as always, if you need further assistance, reach out to your Epiroc Service Center or dealer.